Good morning, everybody. Today is my introduction for the fingerprinting trial deck series. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to fingerprint. We're going to take a baseline trial deck and make sure about what fingerprints actually do exist in a sealed display. And lastly, we are going to go through each one of these trial decks one by one in separate videos because I don't know how long they're going to be and check for fingerprints inside of there. Why am I doing this? The reason I'm doing this is because I made a video about two weeks ago called Scammed or Normal Damage on my Hololive and Don Machi Why Should Wish Trial Decks. What do you think? What's going on here is in that video, if you want to check that out, what people can do, and this is a small minority, I want to stress that it's a small minority of sellers have been doing this where they can open these trial decks from the bottom. You can see that this is the, for this Don Machi one, this is the damage in question. You could pull out the cards from inside of here, check for signature cards, and then put it back in and seal the bottom. So that basically means the tape on top is intact. And unless you look at the bottom, you're never going to know if someone went through there already because it's, it makes sense to do that. There are hundreds of dollars in these actual signature cards, depending on what set you are looking at. And some people are definitely really greedy. They have no morals on this. I, in this video, asked my viewers to tell me what they thought of these trial decks, the three different ones, what you thought of the damage. Some people don't think that there was any sort of issues with being tampered. Some people definitely did believe it. I think the majority of people thought there was some sort of damage on at least one of the three actual trial decks and you can read through that. This pretty much tells me that something needs to be done, right? Bushy Road is targeting collectors, players, investors. They know that there is a growing market here in English. You can see that on their financial statement. They actually say that, that, you know, the English market is actually growing. The problem is if you have product that is being sold that could be tampered with, that is compromised. That is not a very good thing for people that want to collect this or invest in it because if the product is in question, how are you going to be able to sell this? That is a humongous problem. I don't know where this video is actually going in terms of, am I going to find fingerprints? Am I not going to find fingerprints? I don't really know for sure. That's not something that I've done yet. This, this is an introduction that you're going to find out in the video as I do, as I open it, as I fingerprint it, we're going to have the same information at that time. You're just gonna be watching it a little bit later. At the end of the day, please fix your packaging. It is not good at all, it is very bad. With all science experiments, it is very, very important to understand what could already exist in there. So what I am going to do as a baseline, like I said, is I'm going to open a display of this Don Machi, I'm gonna pull out a trial deck and just check if there are any sort of fingerprints in there to begin with. We know this is sealed. It is very important to know that if any exist, because if any exist in there already, then no matter what we do here with these trial decks, it doesn't matter because at that point the experiment's over, we can't prove anything. The other thing I want to show you as a person that wants to show everybody what could have happened, this is Millennium Print Group. They print for Pokemon. And you could see here in these at this montage that they did of their actual factory, you're going to notice that there are people that are wearing gloves and there are people that are not wearing gloves and they are touching the actual packaging. At first, when I started thinking about how I'm going to fingerprint this, I was thinking about the trial deck, right? The trial decks consist of that outer layer box with the, you know, like the name on here with Y, Schwarz, Ruby, you pull open. Inside of there is a plastic that holds in the trial deck cards. Now I started thinking about this. I'm like, okay, I can fingerprint that actual plastic. But as you see here in this montage, there are people actually touching the packaging with their fingers. I know this is Pokemon and not Y, Schwarz, different, Print companies can have different, let's say, uh, procedures. Maybe they all have to wear gloves, maybe they don't have to wear gloves. But in that way, can I actually trust this plastic? I don't know. 
because uh, it's 50 50 maybe I got someone that wore gloves maybe so I got someone that doesn't wear gloves so that pretty much left me with this thought that you know what all I can really do is fingerprint the cards because imagine holding yeah the magic I'm gonna show you this imagine holding or opening a trial deck and this is the Ruby trial deck this is opened by my niece all right so here like I said you don't know about this whole plastic layer because you saw it in that video that some people were going without gloves and it's not the same company but as for an experiment we might just have to rule that out so then we're left with the cards there is a unique pattern that you're going to see in cards right so think about holding your cards in your hand do this if you want to and imagine you are trying to find the signed card inside of this trial deck what are people going to do well the majority of people are going to go like this I believe anyways they're going to scroll or rifle through the cards like this because there may be triple rares in there or the sign card itself right so here's the ruby sr I know that's supposed to be in the front but if you get the reasoning why it's there because people will have to actually push through the cards to see it some people might just go right to the back but if they do that look where my left hand is it is on the back here so uh, there is a pattern that should exist on the cards where people are going like this where they're pushing with their their thumb either right or left-handed same idea you're gonna have it both ways and then the back card more than likely has some sort of print on the back of it and you could say maybe the workers at the factory do that but I don't know if this pattern right here that I'm doing with my left hand will exist in the actual factory are they actually doing this to every trial deck I don't think so so that is my assumptions and I'm going into this that basically this plastic doesn't tell me anything unless we find out some way that bushy road uh, where this thing gets printed they all wear gloves all right so with that this is going to be an interesting series like I said I don't know how this is going to turn out it could prove everything uh, that uh, that there be fingerprints in there on the cards and that would be wonderful if they wear gloves we're not going to really know for sure but hopefully this uh, taught you something that you know what you need to look at the bottom of your trial decks that these cards are really expensive and greed is actually real people are willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead in life even though this is a card game these things are really expensive and you need to watch where you buy from uh, always make sure to look at the bottom of trial decks and as always have fun be happy and don't spend anything outside of your budget have a good one